How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're on a Smogon underused battle versus Scorpion. Yes, the YouTuber Scorpion who we all know and love. Go check out his channel. There is a link in the description down below. Looking at the team though, we've got a Sloking, Zapdos, a Hydrapple, Rhyperior Metagross and a Low Kicks. Pretty powerful stuff. So if we assume they lead with Low Kicks, we should lead up with something to counteract that. But I don't really have much to counteract it other than Skeledurge. And if they don't need to, well, Skeletor isn't a bad lead. I, I, I think maybe Mandibuzz is the way to go because it can sponge hits for days. And I always lead with Mandibuzz. I don't know what it is, but Mandibuzz just seems to work really well as a lead um, in most scenarios. So unless they lead off with Zapdos, we should be good to go. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Scorpion. So they're going to lead off with Rhyperia. As we led off with good old Mandibuzz. Now, Mandibuzz should outspeed the Rhyperia here. Um, so we should be pretty safe to go for a U-turn. They may go for a Stealth Rock. They may just go straight for a Stone Edge. Let's go for a U-turn and find out. We go for a U-turn. Valuable chip damage is not much. But we'll get to see if it's got leftovers. And if it had Focus Sash or whatever like that. It's broken now. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. So what do we go into though? I'm leaning towards Hydrapple here. I think Hydrapple is the way to go. So I'm going to go into Sweetie over here, Hydrapple. And then we'll just fire off a Giga Drain because it just, um, they go for a Stealth Rock. I should have really gone into the Espeon, but I couldn't risk them going for a Stone Edge on the Mandibuzz. So I couldn't risk the Espeon going down to a Stone Edge like straight away because Espeon is going to be pretty valuable for tricking the Slow King, potentially. Um, so right, what I'm going to do here is because they probably switch out into, I'd say, the Metagross or the Zapdos, Gonna go for a Fickle Beam instead. If they Terrasalize, it's fine. We can handle that. Hydrapple should be able to handle this Rhyperia pretty well. They do withdraw the Rhyperia, so I think we made the right play by going for Fickle Beam as they go into Zapdos. So this is the best move we could have gone for here. Hopefully we go all out. We don't. Fickle Beam comes through with a nice 45%, which is great. So, what's the switch into Zapdos, you ask? Well, it's gonna have to be our specially defensive Skeledurge. Um, pretty much is the best switching we have to this Zapdos. It's still going to do a decent chunk of damage with Volt Switch, and it's probably going to Volt Switch straight into the Rhyperia again. But if it does, so be it. So we withdraw. We're going to go into our Skeledurge, who does have the Heavy Duty Boots, just like I've got three Heavy Duty Boots on this team. I don't know why. <laughs> I normally try and, like, I, I have, like, a self imposed rule of item claws just for, like, team creativity and stuff like that. But this team, I was just like, nah, boots, 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 boots. Anyway, they do Volt Switch, it does minimal damage, which is great. They probably go either in Sloking here or the Rhyperia. I had to guess it'd be the Rhyperia. Low Kicks comes in, which is a really interesting switch here. So they're probably going to go for their Dark type stab. Um, I think our best switch is Mandibuzz, so I'm going to go into it because Mandibuzz is physically defensive on this team. So we should be able to sponge a hit from that thing, even though they have Tinted Lens and it's going to be not very effective and all that. Mandibuzz should still take the hit. They do go for a U-turn, though. They're keeping the momentum going on their team, which is fine. Probably going to see a Rhyperia or a Zapdos switch here, if I had to guess. Um, so I'm thinking about what to do, and I'm leaning towards a ballsy play right now. I think if we want to get some momentum back, we need to go for a ballsy play. And that play is going to be staying in against the Zapdos. Zapdos does come in. Now, I don't think the play is to stay in. I've changed my mind. While, while I was like, while I paused... I changed my mind because they don't lose anything from going for Volt Switch. They can Volt Switch for days. Um, I haven't got a ground type to come in. So I'm leaning towards switching out into, say, the Hydrapple. But I think Amandibuzz would live a Volt Switch, depending on the set. Now, looking at the damage it did to Skeledurge, I'd say Mandibuzz could probably live one. Um, so I'm actually going to go for a U turn. I'm going to lose a lot of HP on my Mandibuzz, I know. But we need to get some momentum going. So they go for the Volt Switch as he expected. Doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would do. I thought we'd be in the red. But we're all good. We're all good. So let's see how this plays out for them. Rhyperia comes in. So Rhyperia is a good switch there. As you would expect. We go for a U-turn now. Get a bit more chip with a critical hit. That's great. And we get a free switch back into the Hydrapple. And here's the thing with the Hydrapple. What I'm going to do. I'm going to go into it. No questions there. Hydrapple is the key to winning this game. We need to keep this thing around. We need to keep it alive. That is for sure. So, do we go for a Giga Drain here? They saw us go for a Fickle Beam earlier to predict the Zapdos. They don't want to take any, unnecessary, or any more unnecessary damage on the gap, yeah, Zapdos. 
So I think they go into Metagross, personally. But Metagross can't really touch us. So I think I'm safe going for a Giga Drain here. As they... Still frog again, he's made a misplay there. He made a misplay there. Oh, he made a misplay there. That's unfortunate for Scorpion. As the Rhyperior goes down cleanly to a Giga Drain. So they obviously wanted to go for an attack there. I'm guessing they went for a Stone Edge. Expecting us to go for a Fickle Beam. Expecting them to switch into Zapdos. Not how it worked out. I figured, you know what? I'm going to be ballsy. I'm going to go for the Giga Drain play. <laughs> Not really ballsy. It's just like the basic play. Now this thing's in. I'm going to Terra Steel. Fickle Beam on his face. Hydrapple is going to be the MVP of this game. I swear it. I swear it. So we're going to Terrastalize real quick like so into a pure Steel type. Resisting the Bug type first impression slash U-turn which is coming our way. And we can just slam this thing in the face with a Fickle Beam. Hopefully we go all out because I love it when Hydrapple goes all out with a Fickle Beam. It's such a satisfying feeling. U-turn does a nice bit of chip. Um, but we can easily replenish that with Regenerator so it's not a big deal. Let's see what they go into though because... They're going to be hesitating now. He might not go into a Metagross. He might go into the Slowking. Slowking would be a good switch. Metagross does come in though. So that's, that's fine. So Metagross comes in. We go for the Fickle Beam. We are going all out. Yes. Damage. A good 45% damage. That's amazing. So that looks like a bulkier Metagross by the damage. Because, well, the Fickle Beam going all out is pretty powerful. Um, so I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to go into good old Pebbles over here because there is a good chance they're going to go for an Earthquake. Um, so I'm going to go into Pebbles and I'm going to try and get a Defog off. Now the Rhyperior is gone, I want them rocks off the field. That is what I want, off the field. So let's go into Pebbles. They do go for a knockoff, which isn't going to do much damage. But they do knock off our Heavy Duty Boost. So if we don't Defog this turn, we can't switch Mandibles in again. Or we can use it as fodder. But we, we can't really like switch it in and expect it to do anything. So... Defog it's going to have to be. They go for a heavy slam though. They outspeed us. That is unfortunate. So they do have some speed investment. Which is unfortunate for Mandibus. So rocks are here to stay. But it's fine. We can handle this. And we do have Pokemon to deal with Metagross. We have our own Metagross for example with Earthquake. They have knockoff. Likely two stabs. And likely bullet punch. We have got the Skeledurge though. Now do we go in and knock off. And do we take a knockoff like a champ? Or... I'm looking at that team and I'm thinking, what's actually taking a torch song? Not a lot, really. The fact that they went for a knockoff on the Hydrapple as well is interesting. So um, I'm assuming they don't have Earthquake. I could go back into Hydrapple and Earth Power them. I am leaning towards that. I'm also leaning towards Quackable. This is a tough one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Espeon. And I'm going to go Espeon purely and simply because... They're going to expect us to go for a Shadow Ball right now, which will take out the Metagross unless they Terra. So we might be able to force a Terra here. So I'm going to go for a sh Shadow Ball. Or do I go for a Dazzling Gleam expecting the Low Kicks to come in? Low Kicks is a pretty good switch here. And I risk a lot by going for a Dazzling Gleam. He's not going to expect it. Let's go for a Dazzling Gleam. They do withdraw. Okay, hopefully we see a Low Kick switch, because that would be amazing if we get a Low Kick switch. Yes! Yes, we made the right play. Dazzling Gleam come through and take out the low kicks. That's amazing. Brilliant. I'm actually chuffed with that. I, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but that was a pretty good play, Jack. That was a, <laughs> that was a pretty fun play. So Magros comes back in. They know where Choice Specs because they're usually Choice Specs on the Espeons. Um, so we don't want to stay in, that's for sure. I'm, I'm leaning towards the, uh, the Skeledurge, so I'm going to go Skeledurge. Skeledurge can definitely take a Heavy Slam, no problem. So we'll withdraw, and don't get me wrong, Scorpion could definitely pull this back. He's a very good battler. Like, I can't sing enough praise for this guy. Such a good battler. I'm just on a good day today. They go for a knockoff on the Switch. See, look at that. That's a great one. I mean, knockoff would have hit the Espeon, but I mean, you know, <laughs> still. It's a good damn play. So, we already terrored. We don't really need Skeledurge for much else. Let's just go for the Torch Song and try and get it. Well, no, they, they outspeed us. They go for a knockoff. That's going to KO us. So I don't mind um, Skeletor going down because it doesn't really do much for us anymore. So what I'm going to do now is because the Metagross is healing up, it's got its health back with that and the leftovers. Um, I think the best thing for me to do is either go into Hydrapple, go for the Earth Power, or we go into our own Metagross and go for an Earthquake. They might expect a knock. They might go for a knockoff. It won't KO us. Or we can go Quackable and go for a Sword Dance. Ter we can't Terror, actually. Never mind. That plan's out the window. 
Um, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball. I'm thinking Shadow Ball and Espeon. I'm leaning towards it because I want to weaken this Metagross. This Metagross poses a big threat to the team. So I definitely want to weaken it somehow. And I think going for a Shadow Ball here is the is the way. Because nothing on the team really appreciates the Shadow Ball. So they're going to Terrastalize. Now, are they like me? Are they Terra Normal with Explosion? I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Really wondering. The Terra Steel. Which means this Shadow Ball is still going to do some nice damage. But it's not going to KO. It's definitely not going to KO. As we go for that Shadow Ball and it is going to do... Let's see. It takes it down to 15, which is nice. But the Heavy Slam, Terra Steel, definitely going to take us out. And Metagross firmly does take us out. So that's fine. We can handle this. It's not the end of the world. Losing Espeon. Espeon wasn't doing too much for us. We're not with that Slow King on the field and this thing on the field. Um, so I'm glad we got them to force, we forced them to Terra. That's the important part. So what we could do here is we could go Quackable into close combat. Or, hear me out. We go Quackable, Aqua Step, Risk static on the um is that this? Well, we can't really touch sloking because we can't terror so not really worth it really um i would say probably our best answer is going to be hydrapple so i'm going to use hydrapple they haven't shown any reason to be having earthquake that they definitely could I'm, I'm assuming they have heavy slam psychic fangs knock off and bullet punch that's what i'm assuming they have so i'm going to fire off a nice and powerful earth power right now i'm going to fire off a nice and powerful earth power right now <laughs> And I don't think I don't think they'll go into zap those because they'll expect the fickle beam play. Like they're thinking about it. They do withdraw the metagross. What are they gonna go into though? They could go slow king to be fair. Slow king is a special defensive monster. They do go zap those though, which is absolutely fine. Maybe I should have gone for a nasty, but I didn't want to risk the earthquake on the metagross. Because metagross can't kill us with earthquake, but you know, it would still do a lot of damage. So um we have got the regenerator. I know I can take a heat wave. I'm going to go for a Fickle Beam once again and hope that we get that we go all out. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. 30% chance. They go for a Heat Wave. It's going to sting. But it's only doing half, which is great. We go for that Fickle Beam, get a bit more damage off on the Zapdos. And now we switch out and we go... Mm, they probably go for a Volt Switch, expecting us to switch out. But I don't really need Quackable, really. I could use I could use more health on my Hydrapple more than I could use my uh, Quackable in general. So we're going to Bill Step over here. <laughs> it's a rubbish nickname, I know. And they go for a Roost. So that's interesting. But they do outspeed us, and they do KO us. So that's something to watch out for. Now, here's the thing. What do we do here? Because they're going to Volt Switch. We can't switch anything in. So do I Swords Dance? Expecting the Volt Switch? And then we proceed to attack the Slow King relentlessly with close combats. Because it's going to have Future Sight, right? I say we Swords Dance. I say we Swords Dance. We outspeed them, which is interesting. So they are a defensive Zapdos, which explains the Heat Wave damage on the Hydrapple. Um, they do go for another Roost, though, which is interesting. So that's great. We made the right play there. Because now we could easily just, like, Ice Spinner them. And they don't they don't know what we've got Ice Spinner. Whether we've got Ice Spinner or not. Kind of regretting tearing my Hydrapple, but it's at the same time it worked <laughs> earlier. So I'm kind of glad I did. So let's go for an Aqua Step. Aqua Step comes through. Plus two, but it is a defensive zap dose. It does half. We get a speed boost. No static by the looks of it, which is great. They go for a vol switch, which is going to do... Oh, wow. That did loads of damage. That did loads of damage. Okay. I've just noticed their slow king's level 99. <laughs> that must be some sort of slow, you know, tactic because you want your slow king to be slower than other slow kings so you can chilly reception last. I'm assuming that's what that's for. So we get some leftovers recovery, but unfortunately the Metagross more than likely has Bullet Punch. So we're probably going to see a Bullet Punch right now, which is fine. I can handle that, no problem. Um, but let's go for it anyway. Let's go for the Aqua Step. They go for the Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch is definitely going to KO us. I could have switched into Metagross there, but I didn't want to risk it for a chocolate biscuit, so um, I didn't want to risk going for a knockoff expecting us to go into Metagross. A lot of mind games this game, um, that's for sure. So I'm leaning towards Metagross. Leaning towards Metagross. We still haven't seen their Hydrapple yet either, which is scary. I am leaning towards Metagross though here. So Hydrapple has put in the work this game. I think it definitely deserves a spot on a thumbnail. But I don't know. Let's go for an EQ. 
Let's go for an EQ. I don't think, I think they'll expect a knockoff or something because I don't know what they're going to expect here. I don't know whether they have EQ or whether they're going to no knockoff or whatever. They go for a knockoff, which is unfortunately going to do, wow, a lot of damage with a critical hit. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. They knock off a custard berry, so we've, got, we've not got that anymore. We go for the EQ. Are you kidding me? Really? I'm hoping we're on a speed tie right now and I can go for a BP. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Now yeah, they go for a BP first. Their Metagross is just like ridiculously good. Metagross is really powerful. I like that Metagross set. That's a really cool one with knockoff. I actually forgot that Metagross got knockoff. Like that's another buff that he got. Like Metagross get all the buffs. He gets psychic fangs. He gets heavy slam now. He gets knockoff now. Powerful stuff, I will say. Heavy Slam is really powerful on Metagross, though. So, it all comes down to the Hydrapple in this battle now. This Metagross, all it has to do is weaken us enough to where Zapdos' is heat, wave, heat Wave will KO us. So, I am going to go for a Fickle Beam, because if they switch out, they switch out. They don't. They go for an EQ. That's going to sting. It stings a bit too much, to be honest with you, as Fickle Beam does take out their Metagross. So, we finally got rid of their Metagross. We finally got rid of their Metagross. But what can we do against the rest of their team now? I, I, I feel like I made a misplay somewhere down the line, but I can't think what it was. So someone in the comments is going to have to tell me what I did wrong in this game. Um, because we made all the right plays earlier. We made some really good plays. Let's go for a Fickle Beam. Let's see if we outspeed them. They go for an Earth Power. Take us out. And that's going to be the game. So GG Scorpion, that was a fun one. Nice for a little 3-0 victory for you. Um, Hydrapple also is the one that finished the game, which is great. So even more... Um, Hydrapple goodness for the thumbnail. <laughs> GG Scorpion, that was a really fun one. I enjoyed that. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to go check out Scorpion's channel. There is a link in the description down below. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.